the survival series for the serious prepper. When you're doing your air handling systems for your bunker, consider where the grenade sumps should go. Now, in the consideration, you have to consider the size of your air handling pipes up to fresh air and where they're located. But if something is dropped down there, because, you know, then you want to be able to sump that whatever it is that gets dropped down there. I don't recommend it piping anything into your sewage holding and storage tanks or water or air handling systems. So you almost need a separate handler for that. And then consider what type of grenades might be tossed or if your air handling system would allow, say, a C4 charge to be dropped down. So the size of your hand grenade pit at the bottom of your foxhole should be a consideration in there. So if that device or whatever is dropped down into that hole, the concussion is liable to blow out other shared systems. So not a big deal, but if you put a chamber at the end of the grenade hole, it will absorb some of the concussion. So just, you know, consider that how long you're going to be in that bunker and what have you got to worry about from the outside? Not a big deal. Um, so that's doing, you know, probably a long-term outlook. You're going to be in, the, in there for three to nine months while the rest of the world settles out, depending how far you are from civilization. So you were smart, man. You got that spot up in the hills looking out over some great valley. And you can hold up for three months up there. Then things start to break. No problem. You got your spare parts warehouse. Because if you were in that hole for three to six to nine months, the odds are what you're going to come out to. So on your map that you have mapped out, you know where to go find the equipment to uh, run a foundry. And that equipment's been hardened so you can convert it back to coal or wood burning. No problem, right? Because those pieces from across the planet that put your technology are disappearing now. This is the bunker you've built. This is the bunker. This We used to call this uh, civil defense. It was part of America's response to the Cold War. It was bunkers across America. It was hidey holes. It was salesmen going out across the great Midwest and selling more than a tornado shelter. This was a bomb shelter. Go look for these now. You'll find the stories of neighbors, new homeowners, discovering a bomb shelter in their backyard. Of bomb shelters unused because they're inconvenient. Right next to it is the cold shelter that you probably should have built for cool storage for your vegetables from your garden. It's not going to be easy what you're planning for, but good luck.